Okay, so does the scale weight equal success? So when we start a fitness journey, we've all got a good idea of what we weigh um, and a goal of where we want to get to with that weight. Um, and the answer's simple, really. Does it, it does, does matter sometimes, but in generally something that you're going to need to be obsessed of is certainly it does not matter. Um, so me and Ryan are just going to have a little discussion um, of what we believe, what people should be looking for when they want to transform their body, when they want to lose weight and they want to achieve the results that they desire. So um, first off, initially, me and Ryan have both got different, completely different body shapes. Um, so we're going to have completely different weights um, and also we're going to put on different amounts of muscle. Again, that's going to affect the scale weight as well. So, Red, do you think scale weight matters for people starting out? Definitely not. So, all you should be focusing on is always getting healthy and training hard. That's what we always focus on mainly. Uh, we often hear, I oh, just need to go and lose one stone, two stone, three stone. Then I'll get to that weight and I'll be happy. But it just doesn't work that, does it? Because you know that person could look exactly the same, same clothes, feel really crap because they've been uh, starving themselves, lost all that weight, and they still not changed their body shape. And like I said, people do do lose weight, so it is a tool that you should use, but it's not something that we should be totally obsessed with. Yeah, to agree. yeah I agree, yeah, massively. Um, and I believe people, we should, it's not just saying, right, ban the scales, chuck the scales out. Um, I think maybe you could do weigh yourself once a month or once every two months, but the biggest thing is educating yourself of what the weight is, okay? so. If you're not lifting weights and you're not doing any sort of weight training um, and you've been on following this diet for two months and you've not lost any weight, then you know maybe you you know you're probably not going to. It probably is something that you do with your diet. But if you're exercising regularly um, and you are weight training um, and you're actually your body shape is changing and you are dropping down your dress sizes or you are dropping down your t-shirt sizes, you feel like you're actually getting stronger in the gym. Um, and over a period of time, you might have dropped two to three dress sizes or two to three jean sizes, but you've only lost six pounds. So do you really care that you've only lost six pounds? No. Or do you really care that you've got into your favorite jeans? Um, and you're actually putting on your nice jeans and you actually like the shape of your body. Okay, so far too many people as well, I think, lose a lot of weight, but they're still not happy with the body. Yeah. Um, and then, so you're sort of not really solving the problem. The key is to be happy with your body, your body shape, um, so yes, uh, yeah, I think the weight the weight is going to affect affect us, but I think more it's a mental thing. What do you think with the the education with with people you know that constantly worry about the weight? Do you feel like that they, that's something they follow all their life and it's trying to change habits? Yeah, because you've been told you have to lose weight and yeah. it looks that certain weight. So we know physiologically it doesn't really work like that. We're adding muscle to our frame, we're stripping body fat off, so that's going to kind of balance out. That's the simple to yeah. it. Um, Mentally, you've got to start obsessing. You will be happy when you get to lose two stone. It doesn't matter that you're going to like you recap them again. Make yourself healthy. If you're healthy, you're always going to be happy. Yeah. Happy your body is. It's just going to drop fat naturally. It's obviously going to lose the size. I know, I know. We both put down weights and we're trying to get down for our abs for our beach holidays. We don't lose a lot of weight and there's nothing to panic about. We know that's part and parcel of it. So I think to summarize, use it as a tool. Yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm every so often, no more than once a week you should be weighing yourself. Everything like that is getting a bit obsessive into yeah. it. So use it as a tool to measure your results. But we're gonna say your clothes size in. Take in measurements if you want to of your waist and legs and then maybe third. It yeah. could be your scale weights. Yeah, and your scale weight shouldn't change too quickly. It should be slowly declining over a period yeah, of time point. and it might stay the same. But as long as you're getting leaner. So yeah, the key is just like so different tools to track success. Um, the more tools you've got to track success, photos, clothes, the more evidence that you've got that it's, it's working uh, and you're gonna achieve the results that you wanna achieve. Cool. So don't be obsessed with those scales.